Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Badu Jabala and Anoud Hochard. This is a game from French Team Championship played in 2018. Badu Jabala had white pieces and he started with d4. Hochard played knight to f6. And now, bishop to g5, the Trumpovsky attack. e6, e4. Threatening e5, asking a question, bishop takes on f6, queen takes on f6, knight to f3, d6, knight to c3, knight to d7, queen to d2, preparing to castle queenside, c6, and the job of our castle at queenside, e5, king to b1, bishop to e7, knight to e2, Bishop to d8, intending bishop to c7, perhaps to create a room for the queen on e7. Knight to g3, bishop to c7, white to move. Perhaps developing the light square bishop comes to mind, or maybe knight to f5. Jobal played h4. Hochad castled king's side. Bishop to e2. Rook to e8. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? There was a big surprise at move 14. Badu Jobova played knight to g5. Offering the knight for free. Maybe. Maybe that is a trap. Some commentators said that this move was the biggest bluff of the tournament. What do you think? Would you take the knight with the pawn or not? After thinking long and hard, Horchard played queen to f4, offering to exchange queens. If h takes on g5, h takes on g5, queen to f4, then Question is, how would Badur Jovava continue? A path for victory is not very clear, is it? Back to our game. After knight to g5, queen to f4, queen to d3, knight to f6, d takes on e5, d takes on e5, bishop to f3 black to move. Her Majesty the Queen didn't like the presence of the horse, so the decision was made at the high level to play pawn takes knight on g5. What did Jobava have in mind? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Badur Jobova played knight to e2. Embarrassing black queen. Where is the queen going? The queen is trapped. So, queen takes on h4 was played. Rook takes on h4. G takes on h4. Material is equal. But white has a safer king and better activity of the pieces. Queen to e3, bishop to b6, attacking the queen and extraying the pawn on f2. Queen to g5, bishop takes on f2. Black is even now slightly better materially. One point. Rook to f1, bishop to b6, queen takes on h4, bishop to e6, connecting rooks. Why to move? How to continue the attack? Maybe rook to h1 comes to mind. But then black king would go to f8 and e7. g4, not moving the rook yet. Knight to d7. Knight to g3. g6. Why to move? What would you do now? Queen to h6 was played, preventing the escape of the king. Knight to f8, why? If rook to h1, then f6. Why to move? How will you continue now? 
Rook to h1 was expected. It's not a bad move. Knight to f5 was played, threatening a check mate on g7. Bishop takes on f5. If g takes on f5, then rook to h1. And if f6, queen takes on f6. And if knight to g6, g takes on f5. White is winning. Back to our game. So after knight to f5, we have bishop takes on f5. G takes on f5. Bishop to d8, preventing f6. Bishop to e2. The bishop may be going to c4. And the pawn on f5 is going to f6. b5, preventing bishop to c4. Jobova played f6, threatening queen to g7, checkmate. Knight to e6, defending g7 square. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is bishop to g4, attacking the defender of g7 square. Black resigned. Possible continuation was bishop takes on f6, that would prolong the game. But after rook takes on f6, black is losing. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.